Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for another Silhouette Basics video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put text on a path, and effectively a path is a shape. So in this video, I'm going to be using a circle, and you could use any shape, including those from your Silhouette library to do this, but for the purpose of this video, I'll be using um, a shape or, or, excuse me, a circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a circle on my mat, my digital cutting mat, and I have one here. And it's actually not perfectly round, but for this demonstration, it doesn't particularly matter. And to put text on the path of the shape, you actually need text. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my text tool on the left and just type some words. And after I've typed my message, you see that I continue to have this little um, four pointed arrow here. And if this arrow goes away to get it back, all you have to do is double click on your text and you take this little circle here and drag it to the shape where you want the text to go around. So for this demonstration, I'm using a circle, but it would work on shapes from the silhouette library as well. And you can see by dragging this handle around, I can take the text in different directions. You'll also notice that I have this small handle here. And if I take this and pull it out, the text moves away from the path. And if I push it in, the text moves to the inside of the path. Additionally, you can change your font without taking the text off the path as long as you continue to have a cursor. So you can see the cursor blinking here. And if I highlight all of this text, I can go down on my drop down menu and I can change my text to something else of my choosing and continue to manipulate it. So that is it for text on a path. It's very simple. Just remember that you need to grab the arrow or the handle to move it. And after you've grabbed the handle to move it onto the path, you can manipulate it back and forth just by dragging this slider here. And it also works with different shapes from the Silhouette Library. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, you can leave them for me in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.